In this tutorial, we are going to use the dataset from Google Earth Pro in order to create counters inside of QGIS. Welcome to GeoCarto, a channel dedicated to GIS, cartography, and geoscience. So subscribe if you want to get more tutorials. So first of all, we are going to need some data, X and Y, and elevation that we are going to get from Google Earth Pro. In order to do this, just open Google Earth Pro and then zoom into any place on Earth. I have chosen this place in Central Europe. Now we are going to draw some points in order to extract the X, Y and elevation from this uh, set of points. So in order to do this, we are going to click on this add path, click on it and just ignore this window. And we are going to add those points. Just click and draw the first set of points. I'm going to draw another one. They will go ahead and do the same thing for the rest of this area. So now I will go ahead and add some vertical points. So the more points you have, the more your counters will be accurate. So there we go. I guess this will do the job. So you can name it whatever you want just let path and then you will click on ok so you go you will get your path here now we are going to save this path in order to do this right click on it and then click on save place as and then navigate to where you want to save it name it and then click on save after this go to this website gps visualizer slash elevation or simply click on the link under the description below We'll go ahead and upload our KMZ file. Click on your KMZ file and then click on open. So for the output, we are going to select plain text and for the unit, we'll let it to metric. And all what we need to do is just click on convert and add elevation. As you can see, we got our latitude, longitude and our altitude. This is the file that we got from our conversion operation. So now we will click on it in order to download it. After the download, we will get this text file. Double click on it to open it. And there we go. We got our latitude, longitude and our altitude. Go ahead and open QGIS and we are going to add our data. In order to do this, go to layer and then go to add layer. For us, we will be click on add delimited text layer. And here we'll click on this button in order to import our file. Navigate to your work folder, click on your text file with coordinates and then click on open. So here we go, as you can see we imported our data. X field, it's longitude. For the Y field, it's the latitude. For the Z field, we are going to set it to altitude. Then click on add and then close. So here are our points. Those points are tilted because when I draw this points on Google Earth, the map was tilted a bit. So those points are correct. We can make sure by adding a base map. In order to do this, we are going to use a plugin called Quick Map Services, and I will go ahead and add the open street map. Now we'll go ahead and create counter lines. To do this, we are going to use a plugin Head over to plugins and then click on manage and install plugins. It may take some time to load. Then we will write down counter. It's this one, counter plugin. Click on it and then click on install plugin. You can open the downloaded plugin by clicking on this icon. Here for the import, you should import the layer that contains the, your points. And for the data value, we are going to select our altitude. And there for the countering, for the method, we will go ahead and set it to fixed counter interval. And for here, you can set the interval of your data. You can play with different values until you find your best weighted interval for your data set. For me, I will go with 30 meters. And for the number, it corresponds to the number of your counter lines I will go ahead with 100 and here you can name the your layer say for example counters and you can even apply 
I color. So for me, I will go ahead with any color ramp. It's not very important. And therefore, the level precision, it's the precision of your levels on your counters. I will go ahead with four. And then click on add. And then close. There we go. As you can see, you got your counters. You can go ahead and change the, the color. Go to symbology and there for the color i will choose for example red apply and then okay you can label those counters by click on on properties go to labels and then select single labels and just click on apply and then okay here we go you can see that there is some labels on your counters so that's it for this tutorial if you got some value from it please like it and subscribe if you want to get more of this kind of tutorials